So this right here is our Huey helicopter. This helicopter was popularized in the 60s and 70s. It primarily served in the Korean and later on the Vietnam War. And these helicopters are well known for being so multi-purpose. Sometimes they would be used for combat missions, but a lot of times they would be used uh, either for training soldiers or moving soldiers from one point to the other. What's interesting about these aircraft is they actually replace our cavalry in the military. So up until that point, we primarily used horses as a large part of our military, and the helicopter, specifically this Huey right here, replaced them. Now if you take a look back here, we have some different elements of the helicopter itself. It has two pilot seats, uh, one for the pilot obviously, but a lot of times not the second isn't for a co-pilot, but specifically a navigator. So somebody who can read the terrain, who knows specifically what we're looking for, uh, and also where to land the aircraft itself. So that person's job would solely be to kind of be eyes that could look to and fro throughout the aircraft landing spots. Now this Huey itself is fairly hollow inside and that's because it was meant as a troop carrier and primarily a trainer troop carrier. So in Paris Island where they would train Marines and they still train Marines there, they would use helicopters like this as part of those training exercises. However, like I said, this was a very malleable aircraft. It had lots of different purposes. So you may see things like food transportation in here, civilian transport, or things like machine guns or other sort of military weaponry is all there. Now the Huey was really, really impressive because of how lightweight she was. Uh, a group of four or five individuals can rise her up on her hydraulic wheels and really push her. So you get an idea of how uh, nimble this aircraft is to work with, especially in locations like the jungles of Vietnam that might not necessarily be as applicable to regular aircraft repairs.